Hey, how you doing? All right, so today I'm going to show you how to uh, replace the engine oil cooler lines and the oil filter adapter housing gasket and the O-ring. Uh, it's on a 1998 S10 Blazer uh, two-wheel drive. Um, you don't have to drain the oil in it to, uh, to actually replace these two items, uh, but in my video I'm draining the oil because it's just time. So uh, you do have to remove the oil, the oil filter, but you don't have to uh, drain the oil. So... Uh, all right, let's get started. Okay, we're going to start off by draining the oil and removing the oil filter. All right, so I've already drained the oil. Got to remove the oil filter. Let it drain for a little bit. Okay, so I've got the oil drained, uh, and I had to take a... Uh, old nasty toothbrush that I had laying around and kind of clean all this stuff up. I'd use brake clean and wipe it all out and clean it out pretty good because it was pretty disgusting. Uh, but anyway, at this point, after you get your oil drained and you get your oil filter off, you're going to want to take the line off right here. Uh, and that is a 13 millimeter wrench. You can use socket or a wrench, doesn't matter. And then the oil filter adapter housing uh, you're going to want to take these two bolts out, one right here, the other one is right here, and it is a T40 Torx bit to take those out. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so you can see at the front of the engine block, and this is on the driver's side, uh, there's this little bracket right here that holds in these uh, oil cooler lines, and the bolt takes a 10 millimeter socket to get it out of there. So uh, the lines, they're not gonna come out any other way. So you gotta take that little bolt out and then the bracket should just come right off. And then these lines should just pull right out of the uh, oil filter housing. So. All right, so you can see I have the bolt out. The one that goes right here, the one that actually holds the little line manifold to this housing. And I took the bracket off the front, so now this should just kind of wiggle out, and it's going to leak some oil. Yep, see, there it goes. And then you just probably want to let it sit there and drain for a while, um, because there's going to be a lot of oil on the lines and the cooler. So, all right, once you get the lines uh, pulled off the uh, oil filter housing, and you get the little bracket uh, unbolted off the engine block, next comes getting this clip out and this clip out right down here if you can see it so uh, you want to be really careful taking these out uh, because once they kind of spring out of place they will shoot out like crazy they'll get lost so if you can see what I'm doing here I've got my finger on the back of it ready to grab it see there you go that one came off and that's what they look like right there. I call these Jesus clips. And uh, anyone who else, or anyone who's ever taken one of these out, I'm sure you can relate. So we got that one out. Let's see if I can't get this next one. All right, now I'm going to attempt to get the bottom one out. This one might be a little more difficult just because of room. Let's see here. lost it there she is right there all right now that you took the clips out right here hopefully you didn't lose them go right here and right there these lines in theory should just come right out yep so that just popped out then there it goes and that's it so and then you just gotta you know work them out of there and uh, probably easier maybe do that from the bottom. So that's what I'm going to try to do now. Okay, I'm going to try to get this line out of here. There we go, swing it around the 
sway bar. And then, let's see. Of course, the fire is dumping oil out everywhere. There it is. It's coming. All right. It's out. All right, time to get off this uh, oil filter housing. <clears throat> Taking my T40 Torx bit, get it up in there. There it goes, broke loose. Let's break this other one loose. <clears throat> Be sure you apply firm pressure going up so that way the little Torx bit doesn't strip out the head of the bolt. So then at this point, I could probably just take my ratchet off. Just take these bolts out. There's one. Hope this doesn't drop on my head. There's the second one. This should just come right out. Come on. Boy, it's really stuck. There it goes. Alright. And that's what it looks like right there. The inside of it. And it's, I mean, the gasket is just falling apart. You can see that even the O-ring stuck to the stuck to the engine block. There it is, right there. And there is, there's your culprit right there. This thing is flattened out and leaking oil pretty bad. So, um, all right, well, I'm going to get this thing cleaned up, uh, and we're going to try to go back together with it. Okay, here's a perfect example of something you've got to be very careful whenever you are uh, doing this uh, so you don't mess anything up. Notice right here, let's see if I can't get right at the end of my fingernail, there's a gasket material right there, and I'm going to have to scrape that off of there and, and get it cleaned off of there. So uh, if you were to not get that off, and or I'm sorry, if you were not to clean that off and you were going to put the new gasket on there, uh, that sucker is probably going to leak, and I mean leak bad. So... This ceiling surface right inside of here, that has to be pretty clean. And that's just not going to work with that chunk right there. It's kind of burned onto the burned onto the engine block right there. So uh, I have to clean that off. Got to do it. All right. So you can see I got this cleaned off. Um, it was kind of a pain in the butt, but I ended up using... Let's see if I got this here. I just used a pick, just kept scraping on it, scraping on it, scraping on it, pulling it off until the gasket finally popped off. And also, just simply using your fingernail, if you can get up under the gasket, usually it'll just uh, come right off. And then to finish it off and smooth it out, I've got this grinder right here. I'm not sorry, not grinder, the scraper. Uh, it's got this square edge on it. And, uh, man, these work great for doing this kind of stuff. So... Ended up just taking it and scraping it and scraping it, and just kind of going side to side and back and forth, and uh, till finally got it cleaned up. So, time to go clean the housing. Okay, now that the oil filter housing is uh, it's all cleaned up and looking good and ready to go, uh, we're going to put this gasket on here. And the problem that you have is whenever you're wanting to install this thing, this gasket is going to want to move around a little bit. So, what I suggest. Take just a little dab of grease. Just put a light little film on it. That's, it's not going to hurt anything. Don't want to use silicone. Grease is okay. So now, let's see, I've just got a very thin film of it on there. gasket on here. 
press it in place there you go it'll stay where it'll stay there so and then so that way you can get your bolts in and get it set up there get your bolts started see bolts are clearing there bolts are clearing right there and then lastly maybe put just a little dab right where the o-rings sorry right where the o-ring is going to sit so it doesn't doesn't try to fall out of place let's see Whoop. there we go that'll work that's good enough let's see there it goes Kind of sits there. See? Perfect. All right. Time to install it. Okay. The time to get this installed. Let's see. Just like that. it's sitting there hanging Let's see if I can't get this other bolt to start there we go just kind of line these up evenly Tighten it down. Looks good to me. Let's do a double check on these. Yep. Yep. Looks good. All right. Time to install cooler lines. So whenever you uh, install this, some of these lines will have this little curvature in it. So there we go. Have this little curvature in it. That goes away from the engine this line is what is supposed to point towards the engine so it will end up sitting like that if you try to put it in like this no bueno ain't gonna work it's gotta be like this so anyway get the lines pushed up through here yep so, come on. All right. All right. It's there, mostly. All right. Now it is time to install the cooler line onto the oil filter housing. And we have to install the, uh, the little gasket that goes with it, a little seal. Um, I personally like to put a little bit of oil on it. See? Don't take much, just just a little bit. 
So there we go. Well, this might be the tricky part. Get this kind of up here and lined up. Bolts to bolt to start. Excellent. Should be it. I'm gonna double check it here. <clears throat> All right. Looks good. All right. I'm gonna move on to the top side. Okay, I've already double checked up top, kind of where the lines need to go. I haven't snapped them in place yet. Uh, but before you do, go ahead and Put this little line, I don't know what you call it, line clip thing, holder, deal, whatever. Put that on and just kind of double check, make sure everything is kind of where it needs to be. It's not twisted or rubbing up against anything major. So uh, we'll get the top on and then, where are we at? And I'll do the uh, little line bracket, very last. Okay, so I got these uh, the lines in up here in the cooler. Um, I'm not going to lie. Uh, they were pretty difficult. They were almost the death of me, it seems like. Um, they were just a really, really tight fit, especially that bottom one down there. Uh, I guess what really helped was um, I took a little bit of that uh, axle grease that I had and kind of smothered it around the end of the line right there and then just had to mess with it, mess with it, mess with it, got it started. Uh, and then once it got so far, I just took a rubber mallet, just kind of tapped it in the rest of the way until it popped in place. Then I put the little clips on. So anyway, at this point, I'm going to just put the little uh, clip covers on. Right there. One down here at the bottom. So, oh, it's on. All right. Go back to the bottom of it. Okay, uh, once you get the top lines secured into the uh, oil cooler, you come down here and don't forget to install the uh, line bracket. It goes in right here against the uh, driver's side of the engine block. So I got that one in there. Lines are secured. Go through, double check. Make sure there's clearance between the lines and the crankshaft pulley right here. And then just come around and just kind of double check stuff. So uh, I've already gone through and looked at everything, and uh, everything looks good so far. So we're going to get oil on this thing and uh, fire it up and check for leaks. All right. I almost forgot the oil filter. That would have been pretty bad. So I uh, already uh, pre-lubed the gasket on the filter, so be sure you do that. It helps uh, removing for the next time you want to take it off. I'm just uh, stalling it here. There we go. She's on. All right. Now it's time to get oil on this thing. Okay, now it's running. We're going to check for leaks. Looking good there. Looking good there. Let's go check out underneath. Seems to be working. 
working just fine. I don't see no drippy drippy. So that's it. So good. All right, that just about does it for this repair. Um, if you got any questions, just leave them in the comments. And uh, hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.